Miner, and you're probably wondering why I'm in my little storage area here, and why am I about to do this. Now, you'll see I also have my diamonds on me. Now, my plan is going to be a little ridiculous. You know what, we're going to take the cat with us. I believe I named the cat. I actually have a pretty bad memory. But, uh, if I did name it, I'm... What are you doing? Crazy cat? Are you... <sighs> Cat's been acting funky lately. It's actually starting to get... a little annoying, to be honest. But, uh, you're probably wondering why I'm taking all this dirt with me. We're gonna go set out and look for an ocean biome. Right after I fix the cat. What are you doing? Stop it. <sighs> Sit. Follow. Teleport through door. Please? Please? Oh! There he goes. Are you coming? Okay. Now, I have pretty much all the wood to my name on me as well. And I'm going to find an ocean biome. I don't want something simple like that. And I brought the diamonds because I don't know if I'm going to be coming back here. To be honest. Uh, I probably will be. And I'm going to run in a straight line like this, looking around for the ocean biome. I'm not sure why that's loading funky. But... I have a plan for what I want to do, and it's probably going to take a few episodes to even find a nice ocean biome to work with. Uh, if I get really lucky, hopefully I'll find one with a desert nearby. That would be nice, because I do plan to use a lot of glass in this project. That's right, glass and a, and a uh, desert biome. And I don't remember what I named the cat, but knowing me, it's probably named Algernon. That is your name, whether it was or not before. So, we are going to keep going. Okay, here's the desert biome where I was farming the sand at. If I can get really lucky, there will be like an ocean biome on the other side of it. No. It appears there's a snow biome. But I'm going to go a little bit in this way because I don't see any trees off in the distance. And... There's still a little bit of an issue going on with my water. I need to fix that. Uh, when I was making some adjustments to my texture pack, namely the armor, I still don't have anything in for the legs yet. I haven't decided what I want to do for that. I'll probably try and run the same little like things, kind of like I have on the arms, down the legs. But uh, enough of that note. We... Oh, that's... Finding an ocean biome is going to be hard. Spawn in them when you don't want them. Can't find them when you're looking for them. But first I'm going to check around the edges of this apparently huge... That's a little buggy. Huge sand biome. Sand biome? Desert biome. Sorry. Sand on the mind. And if my cat hadn't have teleported there, he would have just slammed right into that cactus. So... Oh. Uh, Excuse me, I'm going to make one small annoyance on the microphone real quick. There we go. It was uh, kind of turned the other way. So, I don't know if that made any difference in the volume. If it, if I look back through the video and it doesn't, then I'm not going to bother making annoying noises, adjusting it in the future. But, why is finding... I didn't bring all of my food with me, but I brought a fishing pole, so I won't starve to death. But, uh, ocean biomes are apparently hard to find, and I had an issue the one day with my computer freezing, which kind of screwed up the spawn of the map. I tried to MC edit fix it, but I don't know whether or not it's actually fixed, so that could be dangerous. Uh, it doesn't seem to have really screwed up any biomes that I've seen yet. But that's because when I uh, spawned the server, like, after I initially 
But I didn't initially generate the map. Like, I grabbed the, the seed from my single player, because this started out as my single player. Saw that. I can't get it, though. Well, I'm not getting rid of anything I have, either, so too bad for that apple. Swamp. Not what I'm looking for. But uh, I set the seed in the server configuration file, so that way it'll always work off of that seed. So hopefully the biomes will stay normal. I hope. The coordinates should never change, and if the coordinates don't change, and the biomes are based off of the seed, then hopefully that'll never get screwed up. What? I don't know if it's just me, but jungles seem to be just everywhere since they were introduced, to the point of being absolutely annoying. Like, cool, they're new, awesome, but I'm getting about sick of them already. About the only thing they're good for is if you need to farm a large amount of wood very quickly. Because you can get a large amount of wood off of those. But the only problem is, is the color of the wood, I don't like it. Etho, in case you don't know, he's uh, youtube.com slash ethoslab. Uh, he came up with a nifty little strategy to go about changing the wood to a different type. So, but you can only do it to one other type. Basically, you craft a boat, well, more you place the boat in something, in a little hole, and what it does is it aligns itself so there's lava on one side and a pressure plate on the other. So, what happens is you put the boat in, one corner of it triggers the pressure plate, and the other corner of it gets hit by the lava, which breaks the boat, flinging the wood out at you, which turns it into normal wooden planks, like so. And yeah, I'm going to keep traveling at night. Man, it is difficult to find an ocean biome when you're looking for one. How many arrows do I have? 28. I'm going to save the arrows specific... Ooh. Okay. Detour. I never find those. Ever. Spiders. Leave me alone. Okay. Now, obviously we have to not die under any circumstances, considering the amount of stuff I'm carrying on me. And I think I'm going to go that way once I'm done. Hi, Creeper. Where are you, cat? Come here. Hey, Creeper. Yeah. Yeah, what do you think about that? Stupid Creepers. I have my anti-Creeper defense now. Of course, so I have to play around him because... Uh, what was... Oops. There must be an Iron Golem in that city because there's no way a zombie should have been, like, up on a roof and being damaged. There's just no way. The good thing about the, the new AI is it means that if they're up on something like that, they just don't care. We're saying. Sounds good. I hear a zombie. I'm beating on the door. He's inside. Oh. Don't you be glitching around on me. Now... What is up with this house? Another question, where are the villagers? Oh, there's one. Hi, Fred. Yep. Fred. What the... Okay, you guys' village is extremely messed up. I'm just gonna break your little village here. Hey, how you doing? Got anything in here? Maybe up top? No? The zombies seem to be attracted to the door. They just kind of st stop tracking or whatever. Like, they. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Sorry, guys. Blew up your house. No more house. But, uh. Yeah. Zombies love doors. And I love to make them go away from the doors because it's very annoying. Yep. Digging with a sword. Crafting bench. I didn't bring one, but I brought wood, so whatever. I thought these places normally had a smithy. Oh, here's some more buildings. 
Got anything here? No? Okay, door shut. Anything in here? No? Okay. Uh, right. Less distracting, more doing. See, like, not even that would be deep enough for what I have planned. And if you haven't guessed what I planned, well, then you'll just have to wait and see, because I'm not going to tell you. I'm not really keeping track of the length of this episode. Like I said, it's probably going to take more than one to even reach an ocean biome. I do know that I think I started probably at about maybe midday at the earliest. So, oh, my sword's almost broken. That's, that's not going to be a good thing. And I don't have any... I don't have any other extra swords on me. I mean, I couldn't possibly make a sword with anything that I'm carrying. Your noises are a little obnoxious. I wish there was an option to turn those off. I mean, I can disable all sound, but that's not exactly what I'm after. Don't blow up. Yeah, I'm going to have to make a new sword. I'll probably make it out of diamond, just for convenience sake. It's really going to be a shame not to enchant it, but... Oh, well. But, uh... I figure I'll go until... Midday? The next... Yeah, basically... Midday. Well, nah. I'll go until we hit night again. For this episode. Hopefully we find an ocean biome before then. And we will be way out in the middle of nowhere. That zombie dropped an iron helmet. Oh, shit. Axe. We'll beat him to death with an axe. Can I drop string? Don't need string. Place you there. Sticks. Didn't bring any sticks. Sword. You scared me, cat. Don't scare me like that, Algernon. Oh, something's hitting me. Skeletons. I don't care, skeletons. Just wanted to make sure I didn't forget my coal. Which, I didn't. It's actually kind of useful that the cat doesn't attack, because it makes it a lot less likely that he'll get slaughtered by something. And the fact that he scares creepers away basically means the only things that can potentially kill him are... Falls? Creepers exploding on me, which should be unlikely with him nearby. Or lava. Which... Knowing this game's AI is entirely likely. Did that guy die in three hits? I thought... What? Well, that guy got crit. Twice. So many flat planes. Yeah, three hits on him. One. So much for that. I do got this iron armor on, though, so I'm practically invincible! Or, probably not, but looks like the sun's starting to rise and there's a long plane. I'm gonna run through the plane. Running free through the plains of Minecraft. But no, I'm not picking daisies. We'll stare at them. For viewer pleasure. Because me running surely cannot be very interesting. How did you not die, zombie? Also, what? That is not the same village. That is definitely not the same village. I can never find villages. Now all of a sudden I'm looking for an ocean biome. I can't find an ocean biome and I find villages. But, uh, as of recording this, it is the 10th of April, which in theory should be the upload date on it, due to the way I work. But, uh, yeah. It's snowing outside. Snowing. 
We're not talking like light flurries or anything. I'm talking snowing. And I'm I'm in uh, the northwestern northwestern not northwestern northeastern U.S. like Pennsylvania. So it's probably lake effect snow from Lake Erie. But still snowing. It's a pretty big village here. I don't see an iron golem though. Bit of a disappointment. I don't want to screw them though. This thing's kind of painful. Okay, so apparently. Careful, kitty! Jeez. Uh, I figured as much with that. I had to try anyway. Now. You would think there'd be a smithy somewhere, but I haven't even seen anything that looks like one yet. The smithies normally have chests, but I can't even find a smithy. Yeah, screw it. Probably doesn't have anything I want anyhow. Try not to commit suicide on cactus again, would you? I realize it's cactus and you want to stand on it, but don't do it. I'm just going to have to break all the single high cactuses just to make sure he doesn't stand on them. Under and on? Oh, okay. There you are. I was like, where'd he go? He's gone. I'm trying to keep my cat alive. Speaking of cats, for those that follow uh, Good Boulderfist, which, oddly enough, anybody I know that I've talked to has no idea who he is, which is kind of saddening. But, uh, he tamed a cat, and as a bit of a joke, for as somebody uh, on the servers named Pause Unpause, as in, you know, the pause button, he named the cat Pause Unpause, but pause as in Animal Paws, P-A-W-S. But, uh, he had a malfunction with his cat, and it kind of got bugified and killed. Nice world hole you got there. Don't walk into the world hole. What the? Am I walking in circles? I'm definitely walking in circles. Kind of. What is this? This... Well, it's new terrain. It looks like it's generating. Where's the sun? And not even midday yet. That's always a good thing. Where is my ocean biome when I need one? This is getting ridiculous. I've never had such a hard time finding an ocean biome in Minecraft. Like, even the original pseudo-ocean biomes before, uh, ocean biomes really existed. They were never this hard to find. You know, I i don't even know which direction I started going from my house, so there is a very large chance I'd be going in a circle. Nice lighting glitch there that updated as I ran past it. Land is starting to get sparser and sparser. That's... Well, I was going to say it's a good thing, but guess what? more sand. I swear to god, if you book it straight for a cactus, I will not be happy. I have to keep three eyes on that cat. The two eyes I have and then a mental eye. Cats are crazy, I tell you. Crazy. So, cats. Sort of on that topic. It's the topic of pets. Which is why it's sort of on that topic. Uh, I'm unfortunately not allowed to have a cat. Just, just not allowed, apparently. So, my solution is going to be an alternate pet, 
one that mostly stays in a cage and is fun to play with. I'm going to leave a little bit of a, sus a suspenseful time here for you to be like, oh, a lizard? What? I am going to try and find a tree frog to put in an aquarium in my room. Which, I guess it technically isn't a, an aquarium, because uh, in the end, the kind of thing is called a terrarium. Terrarium? Terrarium? Terrarium. We are now playing Terraria! Which, also, doesn't have frogs. This game has lily pads, it needs frogs. Tameable frogs. Frogs that you can tame with... Insert random thing here. You know what? I should put a request on the forums for that. But then again, it wouldn't work with multiplayer. So... I guess there goes that idea. Still. Frogs. Tree frog. Tree frog's fun to play with. I had one once before, but uh, it was a lot younger, so it didn't exactly last very long. But, uh, yeah. I've always had a thing for frogs, probably because they're green. And you guys, at least if you keep up with me, know what I think about the color green. So, green. What can we do with green? Right. I do have a plan for something that is green. But that is. That too has to wait till I find an ocean biome. And so far, I'm probably just running in one continuously long, never ending circle. Oh, yeah. Midday. Well, I'm going west. I'm just gonna stick with west. West seems good. I think I have been through here before. Can't afford to let the cat walk on it. Well, that pretty much answers have I been here before. Missed an experience orb. Continuous talking. About random nonsense with lots of repeating. Something I'm good at. It's actually a lot less ridiculous, my commentary, if you go watch my super hostile series because well the the gift warped that I had recently started and the day of this recording I had uploaded episode 4 but uh yeah that's a lot more interesting like especially when it gets a little bit later on I have to actually think but I uh, I think out loud so that way you can see the craziness that proceeds through my brain. Because, uh... Those... Maybe... I don't know whether... How many people look ex at the name of my channel. But it used to just be named Zinder's Channel. But, uh... Lately, I renamed it to Zinder's Insanity Box. Because... I don't know. I always take this weird approach at things, usually. Like, for example, fighting a blaze. Some people, you know, they just try and shoot it with a bow. Others try and work their way around it. Some ignore it. Some just charge it head on. Some douse it. Well, I guess you can't really douse it in water unless certain super hostile type scenarios. Could this be? Could this be an ocean biome located next to a desert? I think it is, my friends. I think it is. Now, oh yes, it most definitely is. And exactly what I want. It gets kind of deep, pretty close to the shore. Is that light? That is light. What is it from? I think it's just kind of existing light. I don't think it's actually from anything. But uh, we're going to have a little look around. There's plenty of space here. It's fairly flat. I like it. We're gonna make use of it. And yeah, right here in this area here is where we are going to build an underwater base, which is now raining. 
sky is crying tears of joy at me for finally finding an ocean while I'm located next to a desert. Although I don't know how much of this desert is going to be left by the time I'm done. But, okay, I need to get a new workbench. Which will replace my shears temporarily. And we'll use this workbench to make a double chest. Like so. Which we'll place here. And this will place the shears, my diamonds, the iron, pretty much all the coal. Place this iron pick. I don't know how much I'm going to be needing a pick. And place this axe in here, because I shouldn't need it anytime soon at all. I don't know why I left a little bit of glass on me. Fishing rod, which means it'll basically be impossible for me to start at this point. And I don't need the ladders. But, uh, I can't see what time it is in-game now, but it's starting to get dark. I'm just going to build a little dirt hut around here. Just barely tall enough for me to be in. And then, once that is complete, I'll call this episode good. And I'll start recording the next one because we have a lot of stuff to do. But, uh, cat found its home, which is going to make me not be allowed to open that. But I will see you guys in the next episode.